couple of minutes here and we're going to begin. We can have your attention for just a moment. On behalf of the family, I want to welcome everyone and thank you for coming for this special occasion. It's a very special night for the Biggs family and we believe a very special time for Knox County. I'd like to pray and ask God's favor and blessing upon this meeting tonight and upon this family, upon Justin, the days ahead for him and the road he's going to walk. And we pray for the years ahead as he serves God and serves his community. If you would, would you join with me as I pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for everyone that is here tonight. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege of standing with the Biggs family, standing with Justin. Thank you for the privilege you've given him and the health and the strength. We praise you for all that you've done for us. Many of us are aware and some are unaware of just how good you've been to this family and to us. And we want to honor you for this moment and give you praise. We ask that your touch would be upon this meeting tonight and your anointing would be upon this man as he longs to serve his community and serve you. And I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Tonight I have the privilege of introducing a man whose family I've known for some time, and I'm going to add the word long time. Uh, Chief Eddie Biggs and I go back to Fulton High School. I saw him out front having someone to fill out his name tag. He said, I don't write too well. That's why you can't read mine. Because <laughs> we're from Fulton. The Biggs family is truly blessing to this community and they're really a definition of servant leadership if you know them you know them and i hope the majority of you have had the opportunity to hear eddie biggs's testimony he shared it at our church it's a powerful testimony it gives glory to god and he realizes where his strength and the source of his hope for his future comes from pat biggs has given over a decade and a half of her life to serve as a teacher's aide in the public school system Eddie has given over 40 years of his life in law enforcement to the city and the county. Yes. It's quite an accurate. It's no surprise to see their son Justin is also involved in the community as well. When I think of someone with a passion to enrich the lives of others in this community, Justin, I think of you. The conversations we've got to have together, I've come to admire you. And I really believe you have a passion for what you want to do for God and for this community. Justin was born in Knoxville, attending the public school, began to work at a legal age of work. I don't know what a legal age of work is, <laughs> but he started in that. His wife, Heather, and he are raising their daughter, Lily, and Caden in Knoxville. Caden attends Central High School, and he says that Lily will be in a public school as soon as that's available for her. And it's a blessing to have a man like this wanting to serve this community. And I want to say something, and I want you to hear me if you'll listen closely. One of the greatest gifts God has given us is the gift of life. We all have it that are standing here. What you do with that gift is up to you, how you use it. I watched a lot of people I graduated from high school waste the gift of life. They burned it up, some in 30 years, some in 40. And I realize where I stand, 69 years old. I have a whole lot less left than I have lived. So my gift is about gone. But Justin is at an age that he has a lot left to give as far as he knows. No one knows the future or tomorrow. But he wants to give a portion of his life to serve Knox County and to serve you if you will put your trust and confidence in him and trust him to serve you as the next commissioner, county commissioner in the 11th seat, would you make Justin Biggs feel welcome tonight as he comes to greet you? I wrote a short, uh, just a real short speech. I'm not big on speeches, so 
Hopefully it sounds okay. First off, I want to thank Pastor McGinnis for that. He's been in our life for uh, a long time, and I really, really want to say how blessed we are to have him and how much I appreciate that. So tonight, I announce my candidacy for County Commission at Large Seat 11. I'd like to start off tonight by saying something that, uh, as until Tuesday afternoon, I never thought would offend anyone. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. 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 That's right. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Horny. In bygone years, great states have stood collectively to enact change in a society. They felt and felt people denning the ideas of freedom and the God-given rights of an individual to live in accordance to their beliefs. That country, this country, that we all so love, is in danger now, as it was in those early days. And now we must once again stand united as one group to look far to find what the true American passion can achieve. As often happens with great men, many have forgotten, but some still remember the stories of Davy Crockett, Sam Houston, and the great volunteers. Men like these and founders like Washington and Jefferson fought the battles of the people. Knoxville and her people have been placed in the national spotlight this week because of the bowing and selling out of our core tenants by some of our more liberal political actors. When we as a society or as a community allow our politicians to sell out our morals and our values, then we will begin to crumble until we become as a people without an identity. For too long we have allowed people like my opposition, Robert Lawrence Smith, to have a free pass on items like sexual assault, and the decline of specific districts. Under his bid as commissioner, he crippled the seventh district and now wants to run countywide. Why would we as a community want a womanizer and a corrupt politician who let entire shopping centers lose all the tenants or complete buildings being torn down and relocate to other areas? Roads and traffic patterns were the worst they had ever been and the economy in the seventh district died during his tenure. Thank goodness for our amazing county commissioner, Charlie Bustler. Back, it's back on track and things are better than they have ever been. So, now, I challenge us to move towards the future, toward being united with integrity and passion, willing to equip ourselves with wisdom and passion to move, to move Knoxville forward while still honoring our cherished past. As your county commissioner, I will stand up for you and be the community's voice. Coming up in the following months, my team and I will be releasing our platform in which we will focus on specific things that need to be improved and move Knoxville into the right direction. A special thank you to my wife and a special thank you to my stepson, Katie. And also, she has no idea what I'm saying right now. <laughs> but, or I'm sorry, she has no idea what daddy's doing right now. But I want to give a special thank you to my four month old daughter, Lillian because that's what's pushing me very hard for a brighter tomorrow. That's truly really it. I want to thank all my friends and family for being here and everyone who's supporting me. And I want everyone to please have fun with me today while I push hard to be your next county commissioner at large seat 11. Thank you.